What if I just jumped on those dogs and attacked them and ate them? What would you think of me as a natural carnival? I'm against animal cruelty, but I pay for it and I eat it. Th that's just because our moral You're values. Me. That's because our moral values are different. Do you agree you're morally inconsistent first? Absolutely, yeah, because I don't okay. haven't figured it out. Do about veganism? Are you vegan yourself? I'm not a vegan. Yeah. yeah. You're not a vegan. Most people are not. What do you think about this conversation? Well, I mean, I, we, you just joined, so. I'm not okay, okay, okay. Talking about. okay. So, like, what's the argument? He's saying so it's far? cruel. He's saying it's cruel to eat eat animals because they have to find the slaughter animals. Well, they're not, they not. They don't just die. They're executed against their will to live. And they're also bred for that purpose. If I bred yeah. humans for that purpose, would it be morally justified in your opinion? Right. I just said that. Yeah, yeah, they're bred for that purpose. It, do it doesn't, it means nothing though. But, I could breed but, like, but why is it morally right to be a vegan or to support veganism? I think I it's more morally neutral. Fair enough. Like, okay. I think I, it's more consistent and it's, it's, it's a better, better position than so like but like but the it's fact that time, like i guess the, i'm not a vegan but like i i to be fair i've never really encountered that topic but the thing that kind of turned like no offense to anyone right. who's vegan like kind of turned me off personally is the fact that people try to preach it to other people and yeah. i feel like the imposition of a moral value or like of like what you should eat or what you shouldn't eat that's something i'm kind of uncomfortable with if that makes sense like, yeah I just i mean like, well how else are we supposed to create a better world for animals without making people aware of it. How else does change happen? Right, I mean, awareness is fair enough, but I do agree that the current system in which we slaughter animals, like, you know, on, like, a large scale is bad. But the fact that, the fact of the matter is, I feel like without doing that, a lot of people might starve. Because, like, it's- well, well, wait a second. I'm here in England right now, talking to these guys and talking to you. Yeah. Would you starve without me? It, it'll, it'll be very expensive. It'll be very expensive not to- So what's the, cheap, what's the cheapest food on earth per calorie? But like, what's the ch well, it's a question? What's the cheapest food on earth? It's rice. Right, right. It's rice. It's rice. Oh, cheers, bro. Sorry, my friend. You got, you got your horn is very. Uh, <laughs> it's a good horn. It's very effective. <laughs> it's an effective horn. So uh, see how he's got this uh, contraption here instead of a horse and cart. It's because we've evolved through technology not to use and exploit yeah, but animals. But we can eat machines, right? Like, no, but no, but we can create uh, meat uh, out of plants. But surely that's more expensive, is it not? Yeah. Right now, because there's no subsidies for plant-based products, but when as more and more people change in culture, we can um, create more demand for plant-based right, products. But surely there's an opportunity cost to subsidies, right? So like, because you're taking it out of somewhere, you have to take it out of elsewhere. Well, well this is all, this we can debate practical issues. You're debating practical issues. Stop right. preaching, it's too expensive. I want to know principally, do you think it's the morally correct thing to do? You're putting me in an awkward position. No, like there. principally, because then we can yeah. decide on the practical practicalities of it. But principally, do you think slaughtering animals for a burger is wrong, morally wrong? Again, I think you're putting me on the spot here. No, no, that, that's what I want to know. Because then we can talk about practicalities. How is it going to work? But in principle, is my position morally correct? But like, I feel like the moral, pro 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 ah, moral pluralism of like this society makes sure that we don't have to subscribe to a certain principle, surely. Right? I'm just asking you whether you think my well, position is... Pers personally, I don't uh, necessarily think that it's morally wrong to kill animals for their meat. I okay. personally don't think okay. that. And why? If you think slaughtering animals to eat them is morally wrong, then aren't you saying all carnivores are morally wrong? Because it's in their nature. Yeah, our, yeah I mean, like, biological needs. the antelope doesn't want to be slaughtered by the carnivore, the natural carnivore, but the, car the natural occurring carnivore is in a survival situation. We are no longer. They have a justification to do what they do and they cannot they cannot conceptualize morality like we do we don't go around killing each other and committing sex crimes on each other we have well it happens but it's against the law and we protect each other with you know laws and rights and things like this we can conceptualize morality we build laws off of them we don't enslave each other well it happens but we've got laws stopping that i'm saying we don't act like animals in nature you know and uh what i'm <coughs> suggesting is that you can understand morality if i started to attack a dog right here you would stop me probably or you would think it was crude and well, yeah. would you i mean yeah I but would. what if i just attacked them and ate them i mean it... what would you think because you said the nature carnival argument what if i saw a dog here maybe he's got some curious hell of dogs what if i just jumped on those dogs and attacked them and ate them what would you think of me and i was like a as a natural well, carnival in the practical situation it would be quite unreasonable why would you think it's unreasonable Right here in civilization, here in England, right yeah, now. Yeah, that's the reason. Right. Why? Because I've got alternatives? Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. Okay. So it's wrong for me to jump on that dog like a lion and rip them to shreds alive, right? Because I have other things to eat, yeah? In a survival situation, you probably think, well, he's doing what he's got to do to survive, yeah? But right now, 
you, it's the same principle, except you're eating these other animals. You're paying someone to do the, the killing, and we have plant-based alternatives available. Right. So I think I think the, the the point about that argument is that, like, in terms of alternatives, you're absolutely right about that. But I, I still feel like it's up to individual choice, right? It's our choice whether or not to. Like, for example, if you. So it's my choice to pounce on that dog and rip them to shreds. For sure, but then you have to face the consequences thereof. There we go. Thank you. Have, you. Right? So, so, so wait a second. So my choice right. is to consume animals, but what about the victim's choice? But then you said, like, you said animals are not. Uh, they're not aware of the moral complications. Therefore, they don't have the. Like, it's so they can't the be same. victims. Like, so they're fair game. For example, for example, like it. If you go and attack those dogs, right? Yeah. That man will probably pounce on you. Let's just say he, he didn't exist. They were just they were just there. He didn't exist. They're not his dogs. Right. Okay, we can change that because yeah, you might say I don't I don't want him to suffer because I've attacked his dogs, all right? But I'll just I have alternatives. They, those dogs are just chilling, cute, and I'll do it. It's my choice too. It is your choice too. It's natural too. Right? Uh, we've, we've always done it. Wait a second. We've always done it. We've always done it. That's a distinction, though. To be fair, we've like for, for dogs, we domesticate wolves, right? That's what happened. But like for, for instance, it's your choice to do that, but then you therefore have to face the consequences thereof. And for example, if I choose to eat an, an, an animal, right, I face whatever consequences. There's thereof. no there's no consequence for you because it, it's legal. No, exactly. But the consequence exactly. is on the victim. It, it, exactly. But, but like for example, if I don't feel like the type of moral indignation that you feel, then. You know, that's just because our moral you're, values. You're, that's because our moral values are different. Uh, your moral subjective value, morality. Exactly, subjective morality. Your moral value is that for us to eat animals, we have to feel some sort of moral indignation. Whereas if I don't feel that moral indignation, I don't have to feel the same kind of. That's a very you know, dangerous line of thought. Well, but then you're so saying, you're saying should, it's but, up but, to the. You know, so, so wait a second. Uh, I mean, I will, I will let you yeah, complete yeah, your yeah, thought sure, here, but yeah. I just want to quickly grab you until you yeah, move okay, on because you're saying subjective morality makes things okay. So, so because of in your subjective oh, morality. Okay. You don't feel bad for killing animals, therefore it's it's okay to do. I, I think I think Is that, that what you meant by that? Well I think no 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 that's not what I meant. I okay. think it's wrong to subscribe onto society a moral standard in which it is wrong for us to eat animals. That's why I think it's wrong. But you do so think I, it's wrong to for us to eat animals. Sorry? You do think it's wrong to eat animals. No. I Certain guess. animals. But there's not certain animals. It's like, for example, what they said, right? Like, for example, like you're, because because you do operate within the parameters of this society that we wish in which we live in, in which you shouldn't attack a dog. So culture dictates morality, then. That is a really difficult question. No, it's <laughs> and not. I don't really know. I'm the looking for to I'm it. looking for logical consistency. Culture sometimes can dictate morality because there are moral things. Uh, that are cultural. Right. There are also incredibly immoral things that are cultural. So you can't point to culture or society standard and say, therefore, it's moral. Because it's been society's standard to enslave each other. Yeah? At one point in time. Was that moral? Because at the point in time, it was society's standard. But, like, no, no, it's a question. Yeah. Yes or no? No, it's not moral. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't moral at the time. No, fair enough. But it was a I, cultural I, norm, wasn't I, it? I, I, yeah. I think you're kind of mischaracterizing what I'm saying a little bit. Because, because okay, I no, mean... No, but, but that's exactly what you yeah, meant. So no, no, it's not. Because I, I'm saying specifically the moral standard not to eat animals is, like, it, it's different than to say I enslave you. No, 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 I'm just person. looking for logical consistency, that's all. Right, right, so you're right. inconsistent. You're saying, uh, in this one case, which is eating animals, we look to society for the standard. In this society, it's wrong to jump on that dog. I mean, there are laws in place, I suppose, about that. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Le legality and morality are separate because it was legal to enslave people at one point. Right. Yeah. But, but like, okay, fine, fine. You, but yeah. then your argument entirely consists of upon the premise that the current legal system doesn't work, right? Or like, I'm or, saying you can't point to to what's legal wait, right, and, no, but, and, and okay, it so, doesn't so, equal so, morality. So, so if that's not our standard, then what is our standard? I think. What, what do you think? I think legality standard? catches up to morality, well, but it, we shouldn't always. You can't point to what's legal and say that that's always moral. No, but then you're not answering my question. So what is therefore the um the the, the standard that we should subscribe to? If it's not the legal system, if it's not the things that we have in place, if it's not traditions like no, I'm not saying like slavery or anything like. For example, eating traditional animals. you shouldn't look for either. No, no, no. Like, yeah, but yeah. Like, but like, but What's like, traditional? If, it, if it's not that, then like, what it is? What is it? Then? What is it? Okay. Let me let me then, then let me tell you what I believe. These animals, like pigs and cows and chickens, fish, they they are a subject of a life. Okay, like you're a subject of a life and you're a subject of a life. You experience the world, and you can both suffer and feel well-being. These other animals can too. There's someone inside of there experiencing the world, and that is why I believe. Like, just like it's wrong to harm these dogs because they're a subject of a life. You might think, oh, well, they're not on our level or whatever, whatever. We can talk about that. Right, right, right. But, um, but they are still subjects of a life and their life is important to them. 
and what happens to them matters to them. And that's why I believe we shouldn't have the right to dictate what happens to them for something as trivial as a burger. Now, granted, there are situations where I will say that that goes out the window. There's a threshold, like you're trying to protect yourself from an animal attacking you or you know, you got to you got to defend yourself. I even think like if a human's attacking, you got a right to defend yourself and kill that human. I think there's always thresholds, but I think that the standard should not be because I like the taste of a sandwich with their body in it. Right. Okay. That, and that's your moral standard, right? But and you're saying that should be the universal. I just standard. think it's it's. I'm just asking for consistency. I, th I think there's double standards in right. potentially. Just, just to jump in. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you say the same about plants as well? Because they're also subjects of the life. There is no subject experiencing the world inside of a plant. How can you tell though? Because if well, you how say do you animals know? are of the lower threshold than human beings, then plants are also... Well, the burden of proof is on the person making the claim. So you're making the claim, you're saying plants are a I'm subject. I'm asking a question. Well, uh, no, I don't... Well, no you, no, you said, how do I know that yeah, plants like, are not subject? Yeah, can yeah. you say the same? Well, how do you know that, that that tile on the floor is not a subject of a life? Plants do react to outside stimuli. Yeah, hey, I, don't, I don't care about reactions and intelligent reactions. I care about subject of a life. Like someone experiencing the world, I'm rooted into the ground, I am suffering, I am a personality. Don't cut me, this is hurting me. Yeah, but following this argument, since we're not animals, we can't be sure that they experience this as well. We can only observe, but we can't be sure. But you would not want me to jump on that dog and rip them to shreds. Yeah, but that's... How do we know they feel pain? How do we know that they... Yeah, it's... we don't. Right? Because if you say that we can't... We so you, won't, you wouldn't assume that that dog there is going to... So are you against animal cruelty? I'm saying logically no, no, but, we can make this argument, right? I want to I wanna ask, are you against animal cruelty? Uh, yeah, I would say well, that. Why, you don't know if they feel cruelty, so why would you care? It's, it's just one of... Why, why would I care? You just said you're against animal cruelty, but why? Logically, you don't even know if they experience yeah. pain and suffering. I do a lot of things, but I don't know why, right? Okay. You're asking a question that can only be answered with the science that we have, right? Yeah. And the science that we have shows that animals behave differently when they're in, when they're suffering. Okay, they they can, well, we can test. You can test animal ways. pain and suffering. No, you can't. You can test uh, reactions to the environment, like growing towards the sun, and um, you know they have uh, maybe electrical reactions. But so does this mobile phone. When I touch it, there's no sentient being in here, yeah, right? Because we created this. It's a mechanical. Yeah, but plants are in the same way. There's no subject inside of these flowers. There's no one in there that needs rights. And if you're going to say that there is, then you have the burden of proof is on you. But, but it's easy to, to show that there's a subject inside of a dog or a pig because they behave in a way that is subjective. Some pigs and some dogs have different personalities. They react differently yeah. to suffering and fear and pain. That is very intuitive, but don't you think just it's scientific it's, as well. it's easier to prove as being a little... How do I know you know, you're sentient? Sorry? How do I know that you're sentient and conscious right now? What, what does that have to do with the argument? Because you were saying, how do I know that a, an animal is? Right? That's what you said? How do I know that you are? You don't need to, but I do. So I'm... I assume you are. Yeah. Yeah? You can assume. No, I, of based on the evidence that we have. Yeah? Uh, you I have assume. eyes, a brain, yeah. mouth, heart, you're beating, you, you seem conscious with me. And we can make the same assumption with other animals with eyes, brain, pain receptors, spinal cord, uh, they behave in a certain way. We can make all these assumptions. If you're gonna say, how do you know they're sentient, okay. you know? Yeah, I mean, they are assumptions, but I do get, I get your point. So I yeah. think that we can, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. this argument is- Of course, they're all assumptions. We yeah, have to make yeah. with science. You, I mean, I, I, yeah. proving sentience is pretty much impossible. I, I think it's still like a moral kind of like, you know, uh, disagreement for yeah. sure. I mean, because I feel like, for example, if you construct the way that humans have like existed, right? So we we've evolved to be, I guess, the head of the top of the food chain as well, and we've learned to, no, but like, but that is how it happened, right? And and you can say I mean, that is morally right or wrong, but that's just, might makes right. You know that sorry? argument, the, the might yeah, okay. makes right but, argument. Yeah, yeah, but like, but you, but who are you? Like, so like, but then you're just disagreeing with the how we got there, right? You're disagreeing with how we got there, and you're disagreeing. We're with in a position of power right now. Right, we are in a position of power. So what like, should we do with that power? You're saying we are morally uh, obligated to do protect something. the vulnerable, maybe to, to protect the animals. Is what you're saying? The right? vulnerable, the animals. I don't, I'd categorize yeah, I, I, them as vulnerable. I, I, you can, but that's your categorization. What would you but, categorize wait, a chicken? So, say it's an animal. Well, you but, wouldn't categorize them as vulnerable. But like, you don't have to, like you you choose to categorize as vulnerable because that's place within your moral object, uh, moral view of the world. But I don't necessarily have to because we're different, right? So and, you and wouldn't say they're vulnerable beings. They're like easily attacked and dominated is what I mean. 
So like, okay, but the, your that that characterization thereof kind of instills a moral like a, a moral belief of the world in which you have to think they're vulnerable and therefore deserve vulnerable means deserving of protection as well. And you, you and that's your that's your, well uh, not necessarily. But, but I that, mean, that, that it just means they're like easily that, attacked that, kind that, of thing. That, like, but like, but but it instills kind of an empathetic response in which you want us. My to whole argument is like, not hinging on whether or not they're vulnerable. It's that they're vulnerable conscious beings. Having a subjective experience. Right. Again, again, yeah, yeah. again. But like, it's fine to have like a moral disagreement on this issue. You don't no, no, no. You think, yeah. But right. I would ask for consistency right. though. But, but I feel but like you my, can be, my, you my, can my, be my, morally inconsistent. Yeah. yeah and no, you could say, well, I, these animals deserve every, protection. Uh, I'm against animal cruelty, but I pay for it and I eat it. You know, that that would be inconsistent. I would say. But, but, okay, fine. Like, okay, you want moral consistency, but I think like even more how why do we need to demand more consistency in the first well you don't have to, i mean, I mean, I, I just, like, I mean to it's just a double standard system. i could say uh this person here they deserve moral treatment this person here they don't and you would say well do you have a justification for that and i'll say no you, i don't have to be morally consistent but like, how do i know they're sentient we've done it for thousands of years we've killed other people i can decide who lives and who dies we've always done that you know like i could make I, I could apply your ethics out to the human race which has been done before but I, yeah? I don't think I, no, that's not my point. My point is we have that was, two different. That was your point. No, You're my, saying why no, can't no, you be my, more? My point is we have two different ethical um, viewpoints, and therefore we can agree to disagree. But there, no, we can. Yeah, we can. We, we can. can. Yeah, but so. I, you, you was, I was saying you were saying why can't we be morally inconsistent? I gave you an example of moral inconsistency but, and how it's no, problematic. No, you, you found a specific moral inconsistency that would be damaging to the real so, world. You found one. You gave me a very specific example in which I will look like the bad person, in which case I would look like the bad person, but moral consistency doesn't have to manifest itself in that specific way. Moral inconsistency can be like, I just don't Show know. Show me how, I, okay, I, how, how I are you just, morally consistent? I just don't know. Do you agree you're morally I, inconsistent first? Probably, yeah, because I don't, okay. haven't figured it out, right? And okay. that's, that's a form We're figuring it out now. Hey, hey brother. Rose, by the way, man. Hey, brother. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I just, oh, <laughs> my God, that's Cheers, brother. Okay. 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 We can agree to disagree. Thank hey, you of course. You know what? Thanks for listening and thanks for the discussion because you're intelligent. I appreciate your questions as well. All right. So thanks for stopping by. See you later. How are you doing, all right? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Oh, mate, can I get a picture of you? Yeah, of course. Mom, course. Right? Yeah, of course. I'm a massive fan of yours. Of course. Well. I exploited your oh, no, dogs that, here. You don't touch my dogs, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello, pug face. <laughs> that is so cute. I was only joking. Yeah. I would never want to eat you. They, oh, dear. They, they oh, dear. That's one of the reasons why I turned me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I've, Explain right. the story. Well, I just felt hypocritical, you know. Looking at your dogs. Well, going around telling people how much I love my dogs and animals, yet yeah, I was happy to eat it. Uh, and I, think, I suppose I've always had that, it's the wrong thing to do. Yeah. But I sort of turned a blind eye to it. And I was a real, you know, if I didn't have meat with food, that it wasn't dinner. It wasn't dinner, yeah, uh, same. Yeah. And that was the way I was raised, you know. It was meat and, you know, it was, every meal had meat in it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So you're not like the the, uh, the uh, other gentleman who had his... Uh, what's the matter with being morally inconsistent? You, you, feel a, you felt a problem with being morally inconsistent. Yeah, but. I felt that, you know, environmentally, I think veganism is the biggest drive that we can have yeah. in terms of, you know, climate change. Yeah, yeah. And with that, if you're not going to harm any animals or, you know, put, put them through endless suffering just for... As, endless suffering is a good one. As, as Ed would say, for, you know, that moment of ta taste, taste pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. Um, it's just not... And the vegan food now, especially in London, is so good. It's great. Um, it's great. There's so many places around. All right, really good work. No worries, brother. Take care. Cheers, Thanks Jerry. for stopping, mate. Bye.